Hello everyone. This is my video response to Kelly Bear's um, video from March of 2016, and she recently updated it, on what five tarot decks would you select if you were going away for a year or you just had to go away and grab five. Um, so basically what it is in the end of the road is your five favorite tarot decks. I had no problem with this one. Um, my first my first and go-to deck is one that I use for serious readings. It's the Rider Weight or the Universal Weight. I guess I went with the Universal Weight. Um, it's what I use for finances. The colors are kind of washed out, um, but it is such a serious deck and it's very good for um, financial readings and issues that are serious. That's a five of wands. So everyone's pretty familiar with that deck. Um, the second one is my go-to is Robin Wood. Robin Wood. She kind of puts a Celtic flair on it. And I absolutely love her readings. Now, this is my go-to deck for just general readings and people who don't have questions, like if they have a cold, what I call a cold reading, where they don't have any questions, they just show up and want to know what the cards have to say to them. Um, I will always pull out Robin Wood. You can never... You can never go wrong with the symbols on that deck. Uh, so once again, that's Robin Wood. And then we have Steampunk, which my cousin, Sandy Konopasik, uh, introduced me to. Um, I saw this on her channel. And this is, uh, Steampunk is really interesting. It's as if you had machinery in the Victorian age. And I love the artwork and just oops and the symbols here this deck is so accurate it's so incredibly accurate um this is the emperor one of my favorite emperors in the deck um it's just a wonderful it's a wonderful deck one of the things i noticed about the steampunk is it's very easy to communicate to people who are on the other side with this deck um it's very easy to communicate um with the people that have crossed over. So it's one of those decks you could almost call it like a medium, a medium deck. For my dark deck, um, I chose Anna Kay. It's, the artwork is stunning in it. It portrays exactly how sometimes people feel in relationships. Um, the colors are magnificent. I'm sorry about the glare on here. Um, it's just the way the, the light is hitting this today. Um, but you know, this, it's just a beautiful, Anna Kay is just a beautiful, beautiful, well done deck. You can't go wrong with Anna Kay for your dark deck. And my final deck is Legacy Tarot. The, who doesn't want to hear from spirit guides and things like that? Your spirit guides. Oh my goodness. Now this one, this is the Ace of Wands, but look at the symbols in here. I mean, there's a lot of dragony, dragon type of, uh, information in here. Legacy Tarot is, um, like it has so many layers to it. You can never be done reading with this deck. You can never, it, it, I mean, it's so mystical, so magical. The symbols go so deep. It's for like soul level type journeys. It's, you know, you could read it like, do I need a new job or things like that? But it's my deeper, it's my soul level. What does the soul come here? Spirit guides, you know, past life. It's kind of that type of flair of what I use it for. So I want to thank Kelly Bear and her blue hair. She has a lot of blue hair in her videos. And of course, so I had to, you know, have my blue hair uh, to honor that because I thought it was kind of cool to have blue hair. Um, so thank you, Kelly Bear, for that idea. I know she's not watching a lot of these videos because this literally went viral, but it was a great idea to have tarot readers review their five top decks. So it's been great for me to watch other um, readers and get ideas for other readers and what decks they use and why. Thank you, guys.